What do you think, crying baby? You want some? You want some barbecue ribs? Probably that's why he's crying. He wants some barbecue ribs. Who's that baby boy? Oh. Today we're making pressure cooked barbecue ribs. Let's go. He doesn't want barbecue ribs. He just needs to change his diaper. So let me change his diaper first. Okay, Riku, let's go make some barbecue ribs. So I bought some ribs. I got some ribs from Costco already pre-seasoned. I'm a little lazy. Don't have all the seasonings. I mean, it's basically pepper, ground pepper, uh, ground onion, ground garlic, maybe some cayenne pepper. That's that they threw on there. I got a big slap. Hey! Oh, hi. Riku wants. Reto. Oh, sorry. Reto. Reto. What do you want, Reto? Oh, Riku. Okay, hold on. Let me, um. Let me. Let me. Let me finish this introduction to my ribs. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you want to? You want it? Are you hungry or something? You do want ribs. You want ribs too? Okay, these are my ribs. I'm gonna cook it in this ninja over here. It's my pressure cooker slash fryer slash uh, baker. I don't know. Never, never tried baking in it. But I've done pressure cooking in it and I've done uh, some air frying in it. Great tool. If you guys uh, are interested in it. I think it's the four quart ninja. I got it maybe a couple Christmases ago. So I don't use it all the time, but when I do use it, it it does help uh, cooking. So next, I'm just gonna stack these ribs, standing up into my uh, pressure cooker, already pre-seasoned. Okay guys, I got my ribs in here. They're all stacked up into my ninja. Two full racks of ribs stuck in there. Now I'm just gonna add a little mirin. Good. Temperature is gonna be... Oh, how do I do this? Pressure cook? Pressure cook. Temperature high. Cooking time, 30 minutes. So it's finished cooking, all steam has been released. Now I'm just gonna open it up, see how they look. Cha -cha so uh, I'm just gonna take these ribs out. Where's my tongs? Where's my tongs, you? Put all that liquid into a pan, and I'm gonna cook that down. All right, I got some uh, some ginger here. Put that in there. Brown sugar, ketchup, and a little soy sauce. I'm gonna bring this to a boil, and uh, let it reduce down uh, until I get a nice glaze. My sauce has reduced down. Uh, by a lot and it's really nice and thick look at that pretty good all right show you guys real quick too bad looking uh next i'm just going to strain out uh uh all the ginger uh, and whatever proteins have been left uh when i cooked the, the meat in the pressure cooker okay so let's strain this out here Give me straight out.
All right, we're good to go. We got our our uh, glaze here, and now we're just gonna go to the beach, set up our barbecue, and barbecue our ribs. Got a barbecue on about medium here and uh, I'm just gonna throw my ribs on and uh, put some of the glaze on there on my ribs. Sorry. You put meat side down here. Oh wow, they're looking really good. Oh, some of the bones already fell out. <laughs> A nice color there, a little char, not burn, just a little char. Look at that. That, oh wow, that's beautiful stuff, man. I tell you, really good ribs, homemade. Nice. And they're just about done there. Let's eat. Hey, what happened to that one? Eat some bread, some rice, some spicy poke, a little steak, some pineapple sausage. Now this is a Hawaiian barbecue. Chama ribs. Mmm. This is good. This is good. This is how to do it. Mmm. Gonna be a little poke too. Mmm. When you guys do a barbecue at the beach, what do you guys do? Mmm. Yeah. Not bad, man. Not bad. Not a bad way to spend your day at the beach. Mm. Oh, this is good. Yeah. I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my food here. I'll see you guys next time.